Hi, my name is Cindy Dunnigan, and I'm here to give you some information on how to make the most of your visit to Stafford after you've applied. So you've filled out your application and you're wondering what comes next. Well, the next thing is your interview visit. You're gonna come and spend a half a day in the program or programs that you applied to. The most important thing you can do to make the most out of this is read your email. Information about your interview visit will come to you in an email. So make sure you check your email, and when you get an email from us, make sure you read it. There will be information in that email that will tell you how to dress. Perhaps you're visiting a heavy lab and we don't want you to wear flip-flops. So take the time to read that email so that you know how to behave, what to wear, and most importantly, when your visit is. Another important thing that you can do is show up on your visit day. Remember, this is just like a job interview. You're coming to check us out and we're checking you out and we want you to show up on the day that you're scheduled. That shows that you're responsible. Now, I don't actually do any of the interviews. Those are the parts that mesh up with the job that I do at Stafford. We are gonna hear from instructors on what they wanna see from you during your interview. Just stay engaged the whole time you're there. Ask questions, try out the things. Sometimes you don't realize you like things until you try them. Um, and listen and ask questions. Ask lots of questions. That's why you're here and that's what we're here for during your interview, is to answer any questions so that you, you do end up in, in the right program for you. In digital art, if you really want to rock um, an interview, um, come excited and wanting to be here. I think the thing that has impressed me the most is when somebody walks through the door with a portfolio. When you come with work ready to show and you're enthusiastic and know that you want to be an artist. When a student is here, I really look for passion. You don't have to know um, everything that we do here. It's you're coming here to learn, but I'm really looking for passion. We are a college bound program. So I'm looking for people who know that they want a career in the arts and want to explore some of those different careers um, and maybe want to explore some different colleges that they can continue on to. And one of the things um, that makes it hard sometimes to appear engaged is your phone. Um, and I know your mom is going to be texting you the entire time you're here to find out how it's going. So turn off your phone before you walk through the door and that way you'll be here 100%. And if your phone is buzzing, even if it's on vibrate, it's really hard not to take it out and look at who is texting you. Um, so having it off, there's no temptation. I'm looking for a student who is genuinely interested in uh, what it is I have to offer here. Um, I need those students to know that they don't have to have any prior experience. You're going to want to stay engaged in whatever task I assign you, you're going to want to wear all your safety gear that I provide you. Um, it's really a tryout to see if you like uh, the program itself. When I sit down with you for an interview at the end of your visit, I'm going to ask you some questions and I just want some honest answers. We're in a sense interviewing each other, um, whether this is a good fit for you, whether it's a good fit for you to be here with me. You could really impress me by showing up on time, uh, staying engaged the entire visit, um, even though you may have uh, three or four friends in here um, that are currently enrolled in the program, you need to stay on task and be focused uh, the entire visit. I'm looking for a decent, well-rounded, well-behaved individual who enjoys doing what they do, or what we do in here. That is what I'm looking for in a student. Um, be professional, show up willing to work, wear the appropriate attire while you're here, don't show up in shorts. The willingness to work, I keep saying that, but don't stand in the corner with your friends and chit chat. If I give you a task, do it. Try your hardest, whether you're doing the right thing or not. In a heavy lab, we have certain safety attire that has to be worn. Please wear it while you're here. Give me a handshake and introduce yourself. That's one of the most important things you can do, whether you're interviewing for a job or meeting somebody. Shake somebody's hand, introduce yourself.